That's right, we've got the riffs to ruffle your ruffs. The shimmies to shake up your shimmy. And a whole lot of history. Or as we like to call it, history. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we'll have performances from musicals like Mamma Mia, Oliver, Grease, Annie, Wicked, and of course you'll be seeing us in Six! Obviously you know who we are. Please no flash photos. Well let's give it up for our ladies and gentlemen in waiting. We've got the band members.
you ever seen a jet before? No, I haven't. All right. I've been running hard. I see. You must be running away from the bake. The what? Now don't tell me you don't know what a bake is, we flash me. Isn't a beak what a bird's got? My eyes are green. A beak's a magistrate for information. I agree. Starving. Got no mother? No. Father? No. Money? Not a father. Do you live in London? When I'm at home. I suppose you want some place to sleep tonight, don't you? Are you accommodated? No, I don't think so. Then accommodate you shall be me on me. There's a certain house and, and I know a respectable old gentleman will give you lodgings for nothing. And never ask for the change. This is and that is. If any other gentleman what he knows who introduces you. And does he know me? I should say he does not ask you don't answer. Who is this respectable old gentleman then? Is he a charity gentleman? I wouldn't exactly say that. Not exactly. But if he introduces someone, it looks alright on the kind of I happen to be a particular favourite of Mr. Fagan. That's his name, Mr. Fagan. And if he introduces you to Fagan, I bet how you are me on China Plate. My name's Oliver. Oliver Twist. My name's Jack Dawkins, better known than when we were hinted my friends the Artful Dodger. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dawkins. Come to think of it, I ain't got no intimate friends. So what's the difference between your pork sausage and coming with me? Are you sure Mr. Fay got mine? Mind? Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself one of the family. Take all of you. 
You have to make a star somewhere, or believe me, you're going to make a fine star. Go look at your first job today, my dear. I'll be when you get back. And you see, the game was on me, we have, my dear, we have a good many more, and it might come out wrong words for you, then it will be for me, my dear. Somebody must find out what's been done or said. If you haven't spoken yet, there's still a chance we can get him back without suspicion. Well, that the very moment he does step out of that for us. Now who's gonna go? The very thing! Nice, my dear, what are you saying? The very thing! It won't do, Fagin. So it's no use to try it. Just what do you mean by that, Mark? <coughs> what I say, Phil. Why are you the perfect person for it? I mean, no one up that way knows a thing about you. And as I don't want to neither, it's rather more a no than a yeah with me, Phil. She'll go, Fagin. No, she won't, Fagin. Yes! She will, Fagin.
Couldn't be me. <laughs> anyway, give it up for Dear Evan Hansen.
Huh? You miss me, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, do you mean you need a check? I meant this one chick. She was so like a cool man. You are beautiful. Nervous. Oh, don't be. Everything will be fine. So, this is right out? Yes, I'm sure you'll love it here. I really like my old school. I wish I'd never left. Well, here we are again. Yes, but this year we're seniors. And we're gonna roll the school. Jen, that is so adolescent. But we are adolescent. We don't have to flaunt it. Look who's coming. Patty Simcock. Little Lulu of Friday all night. <laughs> well, don't say hello. <coughs> is there any room at your table? Oh, yeah, move over, French. Oh, I just love the first day of school. Don't you? It's the biggest thrill of my life. You'll never guess what happened this morning. Probably not. Well, they announced this year's nominees for student council. And guess who's up for vice president? Who? Me! Isn't that wild? Wild. Oh, you must think me a miserable plot. I never bothered to introduce myself to a new friend. I'm Sandy Oswald. Pleasure to meet you, Sandy. We're glad to welcome you here at Bowdell. So, Sandy, what did you do this summer? Oh, I spent my time at the beach. I met a boy there. Did you go on this way for some guy? It was special. There ain't no such thing. It was totally romantic. All right, you guys. You want to know what happened? Yeah! OK, then. I'll tell you.
hey Zuko. Well, I think he sounds peachy keen. Maybe he believes in miracles. Prince Charming show up again someday. I'm gonna expect it. See you later. Come on, girls. Do you really think so, Frenchie? Ah, yeah. Come on, let's get to class. What's the 
matter with me, baby? What's the matter with you? Oh! This isn't the dining room at the beach. Maybe there's two of us. I don't know. Try taking a missing person that out in the yellow pages. <laughs> You're fake and a phony, and I wish I'd never laid eyes on you. Oh! Or even worse, they're fleas on rats. The only guy a girl could depend on is her daddy. Tell you what, we're having a sleepover at my house tonight. Do you want to come? We'll make you better. Come on.
kidding me, man? No. I just thought. Well, I just thought. So then you let Liz. Oh. Tammy? Tammy, you right? Yes, I'm fine. Tammy, talk to me. The least you can do is talk to me after the way you treated me. The way I? Sandy. Sorry. I tried to show you I'm sorry. Are you talking? You sure you're okay? Yes. So, so that muscles over there. Depends. On what? On you. On me? Yeah. Oh. What about after graduation? We never see each other again. That'll never happen. How'd you know? What you mean? Come on, guys! Walk back to the world! Walk back